Guys, it's Morgan coming to you from Highland Cycles with my official review of the Sedona MX 208 SR, the new steel belted radial uh, motocross tire for intermediate terrain. Um, I finally got a chance to ride the things, and I hope you guys enjoy this review. Check out some of the riding we were doing on these tires. All right, first day on tubeless in a million years, and I have to check tire pressure. Ah, I'm open mind, open mind, open mind. So I haven't had to check tire pressure in a lot of years, but we're gonna do it. All right, 6.3, that's as close as we're gonna get. I think with this tire, that should be just fine because it is stiff. And it's raining. <laughs> so it's gonna be even better out here in the desert. Oh, I'm stoked. Uh, yeah, so. Sedona 208 SR up back or out back and up front. Front has the softy moose in it, so I don't have to check tire pressure on that. Gonna get the rest of my gear on and let's go ride dirt bikes. <laughs> So that's me out in Lake Havasu, Arizona on our 2018 KTM 250 XCW. I had a great time, awesome conditions. Here's what I think about those tires. It's time to discuss the tubeless and the Sedona tires. The Sedona MX 208 SR, so steel belted radial intermediate terrain motocross tire. Let's take a look at it. There's the tire. Uh, it's got 60, a little more than 60 miles worth of really, really good uh, tire spinning desert riding down in Lake Havasu. They honestly look pretty good. Got a little bit of tearing up here, but it was all like decomposed granite and sharp rocks and all that stuff. So to me, they look good for that kind of uh, riding. I mean, they're not like iron. Uh, which is good. They actually stuck. So I can say that honestly this rear tire was a good tire. It was, it actually held up. I mean, I was really happy with the way the thing worked. It, you know, it was wet in the desert, which generally means it's a, you know, kind of a lucky day and really good traction. Um, but there were definitely moments. was wet on Saturday and dry on Sunday. And I the tire worked both days really well. It held a line really well on some side hill stuff. You guys can't see it, but my goggles are... It seemed to get traction in the rocks, like the actual just rock rock. It, you know, I was happy with it. It didn't feel as stiff as it feels like when you touch it. I can say that this tire is like a rock when you touch it. I mean, absolute freaking concrete, but out there it felt great and you know it's it's heavy for sure for a tire it's steel belted but i didn't notice that either i was i was really happy with the way the rear tire worked um also yes i did use the tubeless system uh thank you to jeff at nitro or new tech for sending me that 
Um, I didn't have any problems with it. I ran six pounds in it both days. That's probably a little much, honestly, for as stiff as this tire is. I think I'm going to switch that up and drop it down to like zero. I'm going to try zero. Um, just keep the little inner tube inflated so it stays on the bead. Um, but I'm going to try that around here. So definitely there's going to be a lot more review coming for this thing. I'm just going to keep talking about them until I wear them all the way out. Uh, but yeah, rear tire was great. The tubeless system did work. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it was fine. Um, I did not use any sealant in it. I just uh, I installed it exactly like they say to install it. I used, instead of Armor All, I used um, the motorcycle protectant I get from Muckoff for it, but that helped seal it up. It was good. Uh, I used Don Bobbs' recommendation of getting rid of those ridges. You saw that on the old video. I got rid of the ridges that come down on the tire on the inside. I, I think that helped. I don't know. It seemed like a good idea. So, again, tire, rear tire, MX 208 SR from Sedona. So far, so good. Now, everybody is excited because it says DOT on the side. I'm going to say that I got a call from my rep. He told me to be really careful about saying it's DOT because they are saying that it's not because the lugs are too tall. That makes sense. I mean, they're really tall lugs, but it's stamped DOT right on the side of it. So as far as I'm concerned, it's DOT and no cop around here is going to have a problem with that. Not one police officer is going to give you heck about that here. So I like it. I would totally put it on a bike and get it inspected for DOT. So, there you go. In the desert of Arizona, in like really good conditions, the thing worked good. It also worked well in the rocks, like in the slick rock and stuff like that. It actually had a lot of grip. I'm really happy with it. Uh, suggested retail is $97. I think I'm going to be able to sell them for about $70. Uh, I think it's going to be a really, really good tire for a heavy bike, like a 450 or even heavier is, I think the tire's gonna be good because that steel belt and that stiff carcass is gonna make it uh, hold a shape really well for turns. And I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a good tire. I think it will excel on soft, loose motocross tracks and sand and things like that because it does have huge lugs. It likes to dig, it likes to drive. Um, the tubeless system does seem to be a good setup for it because you can, get the pressure down low enough that the thing flexes without a chance of a pinch flat. So um, hats off to tubeless. Thank you, Jeff. Honestly, I am going to run mooses anyway. I'm going to keep running the tubeless on this until I'm done uh, with it for sure, but I am definitely going to run mooses in my tires when I go places because I still don't like taking the chance. So there we go. All right, let's talk about the front tire. MX 208 SR Sedona front tire. 60 miles of desert riding, a lot of decomposed granite, a lot of harsh, uh, very sharp things. Tire looks great. Uh, it's got the uh, NMS 21 uh, 220 front moose in it. And I can say that I do not like this front tire. I don't. It is so stiff and the knobs seem kind of like big and close together. It didn't want to bite and I definitely had moments of like terror. <laughs> I didn't trust the front end of the bike. I was able to adjust my riding and still had a ton of fun and had a blast, but it is not the world's greatest front tire. You know, sorry to Sedona, thank you very much for the tire, but I don't like it. Um, the NMS, the so the softy mousse is definitely helpful on it because it helps, it's a really stiff tire too. Um, I think that's part of its problem, is that it's such a stiff tire that it just doesn't flex, it doesn't grip, it's really, I don't know, I'm not a fan, I'm not going to be buying any more of these, 
I probably will buy some of the rears for to have in here for my customers. I'm not going to recommend this front. Um, now for uh, the DOT situation, if you want to put these on a heavy dual sport, this actually might be a great tire because I think it's going to hold up really well. It'll be just fine on a 280, 260, 200, you know, whatever pound bike because it is stiff. Um, also, a nice heavy bike like that might make it work better because it'll help it flex and things like that. But I can tell you that with the soft moose and with the way I ride and on a lightweight 250, it's just not my favorite. Um, it did hold up really well. Uh, it's really still got sharp edges on everything. Still got the little uh, fuzzies on the sides. As far as just a round tire, <laughs> it works just fine. But it's, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe a tubeless setup with really low pressure or zero pressure might help, but I don't know. It seems big. Like, it seems physically large. And I don't like physically large tires because they don't seem to bite as well as I want. Um, like I said, I left the trail a few times um, going hard into a turn and on the brakes, and I just straight through. So, yeah, not... Yeah, not my favorite tire, but you know, you can't like everything. And again, all of what I'm saying, I hope you guys take with a grain of salt because I ride differently than a lot of people. As you've seen through this thing, there's clips of me riding it down there. Um, so you can kind of see, you guys have watched my ride videos, you know how I ride. Uh, so yeah. It's, it might be the perfect tire for someone else, but for me and the way I ride, it's not my favorite. I'm going to keep running it because I'm just going to take it to its ultimate and see how long it takes to wear it out. Um, but if I had purchased this thing and I wasn't being asked to review it, I would take it off after that ride and put something else on. So um, comment below what you think about that. <laughs> um, I, uh, my favorite front tire is an M59 from Bridgestone. So make sure you comment below. Tell me what your favorite front tire is for where you live. I feel like the M59 kind of works everywhere. Like everywhere. I've run it in Oklahoma. I've run it out here in California, up in the mountains, the high mountains, down the desert down here, everything. So I like that tire. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I like them, guys. I think, uh, I think they're, they're, they're good tires. They're not great tires. I think they are going to excel on a motocross track when you're turning really hard uh, and going really fast and you're asking a lot of a tire in a turn to not fold over. Um, I think that's when the steel belted situation is going to work out really, really well. I think for off-road guys, it's not going to be the best tire. Um, it's heavy. It's stiff. Yeah. But so there we go, guys. Um, so. That is my official review on the Sedona MX-208 SR Steel Belted Radial. I'm going to keep testing it, so make sure you stay tuned. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you think I'm doing a good job of this, because I will revisit these tires as we go on and uh, get them tested out here in Colorado, out in our desert here, uh, maybe even this weekend, uh, but definitely soon. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Get out, spread the gospel of two wheels, and please... It's so, so nice out right now. You gotta find some time to ride your dirt bikes!